Hi, this is Art the Neil Below. If you can't draw the exact proportions of an object you are drawing, the object will not look real. To avoid this, one must be able to know these proportions and be able to check them. How do you measure proportions with a pencil? I take a pencil, outstretch my hand, close one eye and direct the pencil over the object. I place the top of the pencil at the top edge of the object and mark the bottom of the object with my nail. I, not moving from my position, with an outstretched hand, rotate the pencil so that the pencil is horizontal. From the right or left edge of the object, I measure how many times wider the object is than its height. Take a note, you should hold the pencil precisely parallel to the plane of your eyes. That means that you shouldn't hold it like this, or this, or this, and not like this, but like this. And this. Now I know that the height of the teapot is almost equal to its width. The width is a bit longer, but they are almost equal. Knowing this, I can check my drawing. Did I draw the proportions correctly or not? I measure the width by marking it on the pencil. The width should be a little bit longer than the height. I check it. I made a mistake. Right now the width is a little shorter than the height. So I should correct it. I can do it in two ways. I can lengthen the width or shorten the height. In this case, I should consider what is better for the composition. If I lengthen the width, the space of the paper can become too tight for the teapot to fit. The teapot, spout and handle will be touching the edge of the paper. So I wouldn't do that. It's better to lessen the height. I mark the place where the top of the teapot should end. So now I have a teapot with this height. And I didn't change the width. Now I check it again. The height should be slightly less than the width. Almost equal to the width. I think I have drawn it right. I can erase the leftover old lines now. If an object's width is not equal to the height, I imagine marks on the object. It's like imagining segments on the object. Sometimes a size is correlated to another at exactly 1 to 2, or 1 to 3, or 1 to 1. Sometimes there is a bit left over, which is hard to measure. In this case, try to understand how much space approximately the remainder takes up. Is it slightly less than the half size we are measuring? Or it's more like a quarter, or a third, and so on. But sometimes the top edge of the object and the bottom edge of the object are not on the same vertical line. Or the right edge of the object and the left edge of the object are not aligned on the same horizontal. 
В этом In such cases, we shouldn't lean the pencil. We hold it straight, either vertically or horizontally. We just mark with one end of the pencil one edge, for example the top, and then move the hand without leaning and mark the other edge, the bottom one. And the same with horizontal. We mark the left edge or the right one and mark the other edge just by moving the hand. Again, it's very important. Try to draw it using just your eyes first. And only then check yourself with measuring. This way you'll develop your eye. You'll get used to looking at nature and thinking about the proportions from the beginning. To mark them with your eye. Please, write in the comments if you have ever been unable to recognize a person depicted in a piece of art because the artist made a mistake with the proportions. Or maybe you remember some other cases when due to mistakes with proportions a picture turned out badly. Don't forget to press the thumbs up if you like the video. And visit my site to visit the full list of lessons. Also support me on patreon.com. And I will shoot more videos.